In today's video, I want to show you guys on how you can make a simple debt snowball tracker in Google Sheets. So that way you can track all your debts and your payoff dates and really generate and create that snowball effect. So that way you can pay off your debt faster. And I'll show you how to make this in under 10 minutes. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay, so here I am on a new Google Sheets document. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I want to start writing down a date on the first uh, column here. And I'm gonna have a total due here. So I can just tally up all the different um, debts and minimum payments that I have to make, okay? Um, and then from there, you can just literally start writing down all the different debts that you have. And usually you wanna sort it from left to right from the least amount of debt to the greater ones, okay? So for example, you have a credit card one that you're paying off. Um, and then you wanna start spacing it out three cells to the right. Um, but you have credit card two in where you probably maybe have more debt. And then something a little bit larger, okay? So it gets larger as you go into the right. Uh, so for example, I have a car loan here, okay? It's okay. So let's just use the credit card one, for example, or whatever your uh, smallest debt is. We're gonna have a payment amount, right? Obviously, we're gonna have interest, and then we're gonna have uh, the remaining debt, okay? So this is gonna be pretty standard to you know all the different uh, loans that you have. And obviously with payment and remaining debt, I'm just gonna click C here, this column, the letter C. I'm gonna hit Control and I'm gonna hit E here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on Format as Currency. Now it should give me dollar amount or whatever your local currency is. So for example, I have $10,000 in credit card debt. And when you are making minimum payments, or you can add a little bit more to that minimum payment to really get that snowball effect going, right? So for example, my minimum payment with the added amount is uh, $200. And then for interest, I'm gonna go ahead and click D here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click format as percentage because obviously interest is a percentage. So let's just say it's 15% in interest in terms of credit card debt. So now let's go ahead and start uh, doing the date here. Knowing that we have this amount, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do for the first uh, payment that is, for example, it's gonna be January. 2026. And the reason why I'm doing month and year is because maybe not every single one of your loans have the same uh, date in terms of, you know, payment due date. Um, and then you can continue on February 2026. And once you have the second entry here, you can go ahead and select and highlight drag these two entries and just drag it all the way down and maybe row 70 or 60. Um, you know, however long you think you'll need it to pay off all your different debts. Okay. So uh, to make it a little easier to read, I'm gonna select row one here and bold it. I'm gonna select row two here and bold it as well. I can also just merge these uh, credit card one and credit card two. So just merge it, credit card two, merge it, and car loan, I'm gonna merge it as well. Okay, so if I grab this uh, top right here and just drag it all the way this way, it will kind of uh, you know make it a little bit standard in terms of the headers here as well. So you don't have to keep typing them manually. You can just go ahead and drag them. Uh, I could also just go ahead and select these titles here and just center align them. Um, and then I can just kind of increase the font size. Okay. So this is just formatting purposes. Again, um, it doesn't affect any functionality. So I'm going to promise you we're only going to have one formula for today. And that is to calculate your remaining debt for the following month. Okay. So this formula is going to be equals to, right? The remaining debt. So I'm going to use parentheses here just, you know, to make the order of operations a little bit easier. So I'm going to do, obviously, when you make a $200 payment, we're going to take $200 off of the remaining debt. So I'm going to do this minus this payment right here. Okay. Minus that cell. And I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, close that parentheses. And then what are we going to have? Well, don't forget we have interest, right? So we're going to have the interest of plus. I'm going to do opening parentheses here and then uh, how this interest works. Obviously, it's going to be this remaining debt here. And this is obviously an annual interest. So we're going to do this remaining debt. OK, we're going to do multiply by our percentage. And then you can just close that parentheses and divide everything by 12. And that way, this is calculating, you know, the remaining debt minus the payment. Right. And then we're adding interest back into it. OK. Hit enter and you have this nice, uh, you know, predetermined number here. Okay. Now with this formula, you can also just kind of grab everything and just drag it over to your car loans and such. And the reason why that is, is because this formula will now grab from, you know, these cells and you don't have to copy paste and 
manually uh, you know change them up so they're grabbing from the correct uh, cells the only issue is that these payments and the interest amounts aren't you know going correctly but you can just set it to zero for now um, and you know we're using this just as a template right so we're gonna populate that light later but just put everything as a zero so now when that's going on you can go ahead and uh, do another you know for example every month you're making uh, payments of uh, $200 here okay and we're keeping the interest rate standard so you can just go ahead and drag this all the way down you know let's just say give it about 50 rows down here and everything should stay the same unless you're paying more that is obviously for some reason you're paying 225 in one month uh, you can obviously just manually adjust it okay but now you want to grab this second row and second row only okay don't grab what we just did earlier you want to just grab this uh, second row uh, only for column E that is the remaining debt and you can just drag it all the way down and you can see here that you know you're making payments for your debt okay so for example you're making uh, two hundred dollars let's just let's just put in three hundred dollars okay so we're gonna speed up this debt process a little bit faster um, let's put three hundred all the way down so you can see here that uh, this is the month when we hit the negative is obviously when we completed our payments right we, we've completed our debt and the debt is gone what I want to do is usually sometimes to make it very very clear that we've you know completed a debt you can just select the row and just change it to a different color you can make it bold but since we've cleared everything I just want to change it to green color green because it signifies hey you've completed something okay so for example here I have another bigger debt so credit card to $25,000 in debt why not and my payment for this every month is going to be for uh, 350 at another uh, whopping 13% interest rate. Okay. So again, if you don't, if you don't remember, if you want to just grab the payment and interest and you want to make a standard across, you just grab these two, you know, make two entries that are the same and just drag it all the way down here, grab the second row uh, of the second payment and just the remaining debt itself, and just drag it all the way down. So you can see here that we're taking a little bit to pay off our $25,000 loan. But again, the interest is still being calculated correctly, right? So we're having these like little cent amounts. But now what happens is obviously when you change the, um, when you drag it down, you're gonna lose some formatting. You can go ahead and just recolor it to green. But now what happens is now after this, we pay off this debt, right? Now it's gonna snowball and that amount is gonna go over here to the second, uh, to the second payment. And now you can just go ahead and stretch it all the way down. So they're all become 650. And then you can go ahead and just, you know, again, stretch this all the way. And it's obviously paying off our debt sooner and sooner um, than, you know, than we anticipated. So keep going all the way down here. And you can see here that we eventually paid it off at this line, okay, row 87. And again, we're losing track of uh, our dates here. So we can just go ahead and kind of stretch this all the way down as well. Um, obviously, it is, we're, it's gonna take a little bit to pay off all our debt, but it, it, we're getting there, it's snowballing, okay? So again, this sweet spot right here where it turns negative, it's going to be the, the month that we have paid off this $25,000 debt. Okay. So what happens is I'm going to go ahead and hit the green as well. And you can see where this is going. Okay. So we're having different you know debts and we're paying it off. And this snowball effect really takes off right here when we're able to make contribute whatever was here before. And you can just remove this. Okay. Since, since you already paid it, you can just remove it whatever we have this and we're gonna you know snowball it onto our other debt and then on top of that well let's just work on our last debt for example car loan you have you know forty thousand dollars in debt and you're making about 550 dollars payment a month go ahead and drag this again all the way down and then the remaining debt i'm going to drag it again all the way down here and look at that honestly it doesn't even take that long to pay it off with the snowball effect uh, considering now that we, you know, it, it usually would pay off here, but now since you have this $650, uh, after this that you can afford, you're going to put 650, uh, you know, onto the 550 here on this next upcoming payment. So that would, you know, equal to, and if you want to save from doing the math, you can just put this into a formula 650, 1200. Okay. So it's going to be 1200. You're going to drag 1200 all the way down here. Um, let's see like this. And then suddenly you pay off your debt sooner than anticipated. Okay. So you paid off your debt here in 2033. I'm going to go ahead and just change the color to green here. And then whatever, you know, below it doesn't even matter because you already paid off your debt at this exact month. And sometimes obviously the formatting is a little bit off, but you can just, you know, reformat it and color it to that color. So perfect. There you go. So now you'll be debt free by May 2033. 
uh, the reason why I have this total due here is so obviously you can keep uh, track of how much you're paying every single month. So you can just do sum of, you know, this payment plus uh, this payment here, credit card two plus this, your car loan, and you're paying 1200 and you can just use the autofill or if you don't want to, you can just go ahead and drag it all the way down all the way to your last debt here. And again, it should consistently stay 1200. Okay. That's just how this debt snowball tracker works because when you're paying off, uh, you know, the diff when you already pay off a debt, you just use that to snowball into another amount. And obviously you can see here that our debt tracker completely works and it's very, very easy to follow. Now, the only thing I can think of is just, you know, changing up the formatting. So obviously if you want to change and make it a little bit easier to distinguish, you can change the fill color of, you know, credit card one, for example, to um, orange and then this credit card two to be maybe blue and then a car loan to maybe be, I don't know, like green, for example. And if it's a little bit harder to read the text, you could change the color of the text here as well. But in terms of formula and everything, it should work exactly the same way. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys all in the next video.